why don't we think about how we dress and how we carry ourselves as personal branding? What is the brand of like, I'm in my J's at three in the afternoon in Walmart mm -hmm. and they're SpongeBob J's and I'm right. 35. Oh, like what's yep. that brand? Yeah, that is the, I, I, I value comfort and I want to disappear. I don't want people to pay attention to me brand. Mm. There's a lot of this kind of like psychological, emotional connection that comes with it. Clothing can either be very deliberate and conscious or it can be very accidental and subconscious, but there's always some level of communication that's happening with it. And so the shift that we need to make is from this self-soothing, subconscious, very accidental into growth oriented, very deliberate, very intentional version of it mm -hmm. instead. Mm -hmm. I hadn't even thought of it that way. Mm. Like I'd never even thought, oh, the dude wearing that or the lady wearing that, that that would even be a motivation in her or his mind. I always yeah, was like- if they really didn't care, they just show up in like, garbage bags or naked or something else right. so they're not dressing so poorly that it draws negative attention right. but they're all no they're also not dressing well enough that it draws positive attention mm -hmm. what they're essentially signaling is don't talk to me don't approach me i'm I, I don't want any interaction whatsoever and it reinforces that even as far as their own sense of self-perception of i don't want to interact with people i want to be left alone yeah, yeah. am i worth interacting mm -hmm. you know what kind of like self-image do I have? Oh, nobody wants to talk to me, so I might as well right. just whatever, wear SpongeBob at 2 p.m.